Hello everyone, my name is and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys the next part of the updated 2022 LSPDFR tutorial guide playlist, whatever you want to call it. This video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install real police cars into your LSPDFR. This is actually relatively quick and relatively simple, and once you've got this, you'll pretty much never need to watch a video on how to do it again, unless you forget a couple of processes. But the pack, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install today. You do not have to use the exact same vehicle pack. You can use any other ELS vehicle pack, and that's the key word. It has to be ELS for the lights to work properly. But you can use a non-ELS video, but I'll cover that in a later video to come. But for now, it has to be an ELS vehicle. But for now, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using this pack right here. But all the links are down in the description below anyway. But this pack right here, purely because it's a good example. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of ways you can rename things. So you can always have different vehicles in different slots. But the first thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to install the emergency lighting system. So click the first download link down in the description below. That will bring you guys right here to the emergency lighting system. Hit download, agree and download, and install the latest version. This mod hasn't updated in years, and it will not update in years to come unless GTA 5 6 comes out or everyone moves on to GTA 5 Remastered when that comes onto PC, if it ever does. But basically, there's no need to worry about updating this. It should always work. But once it's done installing, open it on up. And this is pretty simple to how we install plugins in the last video. If you watched how to install LSPDFR, the first episode of this new 2022 updated series. All you guys are going to want to do is find your GTA 5 main directory. If you don't remember how to do that, like I said last time, then all you guys are going to want to do, if you're on Rockstar Games and Epic Games, your GTA 5 main directory will actually be down in the description below. For some reason, it got removed in my last video. I'm going to add that back in. I'm going to add it to default so it should always be there. But as per usual, for those of you guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. So all you guys are going to want to do is find your GTA 5 main directory, is go to whatever drive your Steam is installed on, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and then Common, and here will be your GTA 5 main directory. But mine is under a custom one over here. And if you are not sure where you saved a custom folder, you can always open up Steam like this. Open up your Steam. And then once you've loaded in to it, you can go to your game library, go to collections, and head over to your GTA 5. And you can go to, I believe, manage, and then browse local files. And that will also bring you to the same places I just showed you. But all you guys are going to do is grab ELS and all the files to go with it, and simply drag and drop it into your game. Now, once that's in your game, if you go into ELS folder and you go into pack default, right here is we'll be putting all of your XML files. So whenever you download a vehicle pack and it has an XML file, this is always going to be where you put it, always inside of here. In a minute, I will go through how you name them and things like that. Some people think if you delete this default police.xml, then it will not work. It will work. That's a myth. And some people believe it because they have issues and they delete it and somehow miraculously works. But you can always delete that and replace it when you need to. But now for the next bit, how to install the real cars themselves. So click the next download link down in the description below or install your own ELS pack. This one's relatively big. I'm only going to show you guys how to install the first part because the second part is exactly the same. Just hit download. Hit download on the first part or whatever version or any pack you're downloading yourself. It's relatively big. It's bigger than the downloads we installed in the last video. So it's probably going to take around a minute or so depending on your internet speed. Sometimes buying is good. Sometimes it is bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back to once it is finished. Okay, so once your GTA 5 is done installing, all you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to click and open up your download. And once you're inside of there, you're going to want to find your vehicle files. So for me, it's in the installation files. And they should all be in here with the corresponding ELS file. So basically, to install this, you're going to need open IV. And for that, you can click the download link down in the description below. I'm not going to show you guys how to install that because I don't want to replace my current one because I've got tons of save stuff. But it's literally just a matter of running an EXE. It's nothing really to do with GTA 5. But once you've got OpenIV, open it on up. Click Windows and let it start up. If you haven't installed OpenIV before and you've just installed it, it will ask you to find your GTA 5 main directory. But just skip forwards, skip backwards even into the video and you can find your GTA 5 main directory and put it in the exact same way we did there. But once you've got your GTA 5 
folders open and your mod folders open you can go into mods update x64 dlc packs choose the latest dlc pack whatever one works for you i tend to go for 22 let's go to patch day 22 or your patch day of choice dlc to rpf then go to x64 levels gta5 and vehicles.rpf now the vehicles that you're replacing they are not going to be in here trust me that does not matter so all you guys want to do is grab your vehicle files and for now i'm going to keep this as sheriff but you will realize if you drag and drop it here it will not let you that's because you need to go into edit mode and hit yes and then it should give you a little pop-up if you haven't installed gta5 before saying you need to install all your asi plugins so hit asi manager and install all of these if it doesn't pop up and you want to check you can always go to tools and then asi manager and it'll bring you to the same menu but for now we're going to drag and drop this into our directory and now for the ELS file, we're going to grab our XML file and put it in where I said earlier. So we're going to ELS folder and pack default and then drag and drop this into here. And now for the next vehicle, which is going to be FBI, you can drag and drop that in and then do the exact same thing with the FBI file. And then for the next one, I'm going to show you guys this as an example. As you guys can see here, this is police four. Now, I didn't know this when I first started LSPDFR because, I, quite frankly, I was worried that I'd break my game and everything would blow up. But that was a long, long time ago now. It's probably about three or four years ago. But what you guys are going to do is you can always simply, if it does not fit a slot that you want, you can literally just change it. Now, there are a limit to what slots there can be. The game only has police, police, police 2. So it goes from police to police 2, police 3, police 4. Then there's FBI 1, FBI 2, there's Sheriff and Sheriff 2, there is Pranger, and then you have your Ambulance, and then you have your Fire Engine. But for a Fire Engine, it is called Fire Truck with a K. But do not worry, instead of having to remember those all, I will leave all the replaceable emergency services files down in the description below so you can know what you can name them. But for now, I'm going to call this one Police, so you can literally just change the the file name to whatever you want as long as that is within reason with the list down in the description below but after a while you should get used to remembering what you can call them so for this i'm going to call it police i'm going to drag and drop this into the game and then for the els file we're going to do the exact same thing and we're going to rename that to just police and then we're going to drag and drop that into our xml file and just like I said in the beginning of the video, you can always replace the original police.xml. It really doesn't matter, and they don't all have to they don't have to be all caps. They can be literally any way of spelling police as long as it's spelled correctly. But for the sake of this, I'm not gonna bore you to death with installing the rest of them as it is the exact same for every other vehicle pack, unless it is non-ELS. But even if it's non-ELS, it's literally just a matter of not installing the ELS file. But everything is exactly the same any other way. But now I'm going to hop in game and use the trainer that I show you guys how to install in the last episode. I'm going to show you guys how to spawn them in and get them loaded into your game. Okay, so once you guys are in game, what you guys want to do is open up that trainer that I show you guys how to open up last episode. If you didn't watch that video and you have your own, open whatever trainer you're using. For me, it's F3. And then you're going to want to navigate to vehicle spawning. Hit enter. Or 5 on the depot, whenever it is for you. Go to emergency and then choose whatever one we installed so we did replace the police cruiser which is police which is literally just police so all you guys want to do is spawn that in and you should be able to see that it has successfully replaced into your game okay so we're actually inside the car now to use els all you guys are going to want to do is if you're on controller hit left on d-pad and then this is your stage one hit left on d-pad again this is your stage two and hit left on d-pad again and this is your final stage stage three if you press down on d-pad it should turn on your lights and sirens you should probably shouldn't hear anything you probably can't hear anything through the game audio probably because i haven't got it set up to do that yet but you guys can imagine if you're in your game you should be able to hear the sirens once you're on stage three and your sirens will only work on stage three you can also press b to blip the siren and you can also press up on d-pad to turn on the secondary siren once your primary siren is already on and then obviously you can turn them off with left on d-pad again so it's pretty simple and it's a pretty easy way of knowing 
But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you did find this video useful, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below what video you want to see next. As per usual, I will be doing a follow-up video with this on how to install plugins, I believe. It's just general plugins altogether, including Stop the Pen and all the Majojo mods. So be sure to tune in for that and watch the series as it goes along if you do want a fully functioning Alice PDFR. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.